Hi Virgos, my earth sign Virgos. This is your June 2021 love reading. Oh wait, let me move this out the way. I'm sorry y'all. Okay. If you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the big red subscribe button and make sure that you hit the all notification bell so you won't miss out on any of the videos that I upload for you guys. For my subscribers, gang, 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 thank y'all so much for coming back to the channel. I really appreciate you guys. We have hit our first 100 subscribers. Oh my God, I'm so excited, you guys. Thank you so much for joining the family, for growing with me. We're going to grow, we're going to grow, and we're going to grow, okay? Now, let me call in angels, okay? To help with this reading and bring you clear, honest messages. Clear, honest messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, Universal Energies. Please come into this reading for Virgo to give us clear, honest messages. Show us all the messages. Show me all the energies surrounding Virgo for the month of June. Show Virgo what they need to see. Let me shuffle this again. Y'all going through something? These cards, okay. Resisting. Somebody resisting? I don't know. Virgo. Show Virgo what they need to see. All the clear, honest messages. Archangel Michael, please come into this reading and protect the energy surrounding this reading from negative forces of evil. Please protect my energy from neg negative forces of evil as I go into the reading for Virgo. Okay. Hmm. All right. You have the King of Wands. So I feel like... <clears throat> You could be dealing with the Leo, Aries, the Sagittarius. I do feel like um, you are a go-getter. You are powerful. Okay? You run your own businesses. You know how you want your businesses to be ran. And I feel like whatever you want, you go get it. Okay? I feel like an opportunity may be presenting itself to you. Okay? I got this rag here because this water splash and I can't stand it. King of Cups. You could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, for some of you, this may be someone you share children with, like a baby daddy, okay? Um, but I see, for some of you, this person that you're dealing with may be overthinking things, or this could be you. But at the same time, I still see you... Very balanced in your emotions, okay? Your person could be um, very analytical. This person doesn't wear their heart on their sleeve, all right? Um, they're not outwardly expressing how they feel about something right here. But I feel like you have mastered your emotions. I feel like you found a way to master and uh, balance these emotions out. Someone is making an offer. I feel like this is you um, making an offer to this person. It's not um, a big offer. It's something small. Um, this could, for some of you, this could also be something new coming in, like a new job, a new home, a new car, something of value, okay? Um, it could be an offer for um, dinner and a movie. All right, but I feel like this King of Cups wants to make you an offer, or they have made you an offer already. For some of you, if you didn't meet this person yet, um, you probably will um, in the next, I don't know, three days, um, seven days, six days, next in the next week or two. This is um, not my timing, it's Divine's timing, so it 
Whenever you see this video is when you're meant to see it. Okay? That's when the energies will start to pick up and you'll start to see things happening. Alright? That is in your reading. So I do feel like for some of you, you're very balanced in your emotions and you're not outwardly expressing to people about this offer that was made to you. Alright? This is not a big offer. Like I said, this is something small. It may be something tangible. I do feel like for some of you, like I said, this is a this is something brand new, a brand new home, a brand new car, a brand new job, um, a dinner, um, a dinner date. But I do feel like this person has options. This person has many options, okay? Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, and I feel like this person confuses you. Um, this person may be telling you that they need more time. All right. I feel like if this is not them, this is you being emotionally balanced and offering this person something. Take it how it resonates, okay? You know your situation better than I do. The energies are interchangeable. This may be somebody you're dealing with, you or people around you. All right? But I feel like you want stability, okay, Virgo? You could be dealing with the Taurus, Capricorn. You want stability with this person. You want this, you want, um, you want balance. You want this person to be loyal and, and grounded and you want boundaries set in the relationship, okay? For some of you, this is a husband. This is someone you're married to. Or this is just you um, really focusing on your businesses. I feel like for some of you, you have your own business. You're really focused on your pentacle, okay, your coins. And you have boundaries set around you. I feel like you own a company for some of you. And your company is very successful. Someone is feeling left out in the cold. This could be you or the person you're dealing with. Feeling left out in the cold, abandoned, neglected, um, just feeling left out. So this person confuses you. You want stability with them. You want them to be reliable. You feel like... I feel like you feel like you, you, you want to depend on them. You want them to be dependable and reliable. But I feel like this person may be leaving you out in the cold. You're feeling left out by them. We're going to see why this is happening. Okay. You could be dealing with the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and um, Taurus, a fellow Virgo, or a Capricorn. I will be able to tell y'all better when I clarify because... Yeah. This King of Wands may like to flirt, okay? Maybe with these um, other options, or it's like they see something that they want because this King of Wands is not facing the King of Cups. So I feel like it's facing the other way, um, watching something else or someone else, and. Um, That's probably what this confusion is, the Seven of Cups. And then you're feeling left out by this person. But you want them to, you want things to be stable. You want things to be steady. You know, and you're feeling neglected here. For some of you, I feel like um, someone may need more time because uh, maybe your husband is having some type of bad health. Okay. It's like bad health right here. Somebody could be sick or going through something. Let's just clarify because we need to know, right, Virgo? Virgo. Bring in all the energies for Virgo and the energies surrounding Virgo. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, universal energies. Show Virgo the messages that they need to see. At the bottom of the deck, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, okay? This person sees you as their star or you see them this way. For some of you, you may be in the spotlight, okay? But I do feel like this person is really hopeful and has a lot of faith. 
Okay, that you guys can heal things, mend things, and work things out. Okay, or this is just healing for some of you. You're healing. Okay, you're going through a, a healing process. Because I feel like for some of you with the justice card under that, um, this is a, a, you could be divorcing this person. Or there could be some legal issues going on surrounding this person. But I feel like there will be balance brought back into your life, okay? So, don't worry. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? What does this offer? Oh. Okay. This, this King of Cups is could be younger than you or you're younger than them. Either they're making you this offer, you're making them this offer, or they're making this offer to someone else. Someone is spying um, on your social media. Some of you can be looking through someone's phone, investigating, doing some research, trying to figure something out. I feel like this is immature, premature communication coming in. You could be dealing with an air sign. Huh. So, there's someone's baby father here that, okay, your baby father or your husband, this could be your husband that you have children with, okay? This person could be making you an offer, but it's like small, it ain't really big like that, and they're trying to figure something out right here, okay, Virgo? They're trying to figure something out. Maybe they're trying to find a new way to uh, communicate with you, like a new approach. But I do feel like they want to make you an offer, but they're spying on you. This person could be holding back with the Page of Swords. Oh, let's let's clarify the Seven of Cups, cause I'll put this story together better when we get through it. You already know how we do. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Clarify the Seven of Cups. And that just popped out. Like, it just bounced out. I don't know if you guys saw that. L look at this. King of Cup, King of Pentacles clarified by the King of... Okay, the Seven of Cups is clarified by the King of Pentacles. But the King of, the King of Pentacles is here twice. Alright? So, this could be a husband for some of you. I feel like there's like three men here. There's three people in here. There's, there's three men. Actually, there's like four kings on this board. What's going on? Is this the same person or is this four different people? We're going to find out. But anyway, I feel like with the Seven of Cups being here, this person really confuses you. They might be telling you they need more time. Um... Because this person has options. They have other options. They're keeping their options open. And I feel like you're being... I feel like you feel like you're being treated like an option by this person. This could be your husband. Alright? This person has their own business. This person is stable. Um, but you want things to be stable between the two of you. You want them to be reliable. You want them to be consistent. You know? And I feel like... You just want stability from this person. You want this person to set boundaries. This person has options and they need to set boundaries. And I feel like they're keeping their options open. I don't know what the hell is going on here tonight. But I do know one thing. The justice card is showing up again. Somebody could be definitely getting a divorce. Or this is a legal issue. Like somebody has like a court date that they're going to. Or a court case or something like this. But if you're worried about a legal situation. They haven't had. They haven't made a decision yet. But a decision is needing to be made. Okay. They're weighing out the. Uh, all the information. They're getting all the documents. You know. They haven't made a decision yet in the court. In the legal system. But I feel like a decision is needing to be made here. It hasn't been made yet. Somebody may want a divorce or are you going through a divorce? Oh my God. Hmm. Why is the King of Pentacles here again? Thank you, Spirit. I'll put this all together when we come to, when we bring this story together, because you need to know. 
Um, like I said, this could be somebody you're married to. This is a husband. But I do feel like you want stability, security. You want this person to be consistent, right? In the relationship that you're in with them. I feel like this person is reliable. They're a good husband. But you want them to be on the same page with you. You want an equal give and take with this person. I feel like you two do have a lot in common. Right? I feel like you two are in a relationship. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This is someone you're connected to. Like, um, you may have a soul tied to this person. For some of you, this is your husband that you have a soul tied to or a soulmate connection with. For some of you, there's a Taurus, a fellow Virgo or Capricorn that wants to hook up with you. They want to talk. They want to get on the same page. They want to get to know more about you. They want to spend time with you here. For some of you, this person may be married already. For some of you, this is your husband. Okay? And things is all good with them. Like, when you two are together, things is good. With the two of cups, y'all on the same page. You know, everything is good. Y'all conversate for a really long time. You know, there's an equal give and take between emotions here. And I do feel like this is somebody you're in a relationship with. This is somebody you have soul tie with. But you're feeling left out on the cold by this person. You're feeling like this person abandoned you or neglected you. Or you could have did this to this person. Yeah, there's a tower moment happening right here. Um, Scorpio energy. I do feel like there's potential spiritual growth happening with you right now at this time. You could be going through this tower moment, having a big shock and aha moment. Or this could be something shocking like a, a sudden shakeup or a sudden breakup. If something happens all of a sudden. It's like out of nowhere, right? Why is the five of pentacles here? Clarify the five of pentacles. Okay. Yeah. So, wait a minute. This person, somebody is leaving somebody out in the cold right here. This person feels left out. Okay. And I do feel like it's because um, this person may be, this, this person may have a brand new beginning right here happening for them. Okay. Um, this could be a, a brand new beginning in like a brand new job, a brand new home, a brand new car. Um, this could be a gift. This could be um, a large lump sum of money this person is getting. Or this is just a new beginning that this person is having right here. So I feel like... Hmm. For some of you, you're feeling left out in the cold by this person, but you're receiving like some type of gift from the universe. Okay, you, you, you're you getting some type of money right here, something something tangible. But I do feel like this person um, with the Ace of Pentacles, this is like making things more stable, solid, and committed. So I do feel like this is somebody you are married to indefinitely. This is like somebody you're married to is pulling in really strong here, like marriage. But I feel like this person is leaving you out in the cold because they're having a new beginning they may feel like they're transforming or changing. You may feel like they're changing on you. Um, this person may have ended things with you or you're planning to end things with them. I don't know. Let's get three cards. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles, Spirit, Guides, Angels, Ancestors. Give me three cards. One, two, three. Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. For some of you, yeah, you're definitely... Um, Married to this person. This is a marriage card. Okay. This is also a proposal card. Um, this is somebody you may have a family with. But I feel like you're feeling left out in the cold. But there's a brand new beginning happening for you right here. Okay, Virgo. And I feel like there's like a party, a baby shower, a event. Um, something going on right here. Um, and I do feel like... 
for some of you, this person wants to propose to you if you're not married to them. I do feel like you're getting some money, though, and you're getting ready to get a new home here. Or you're renovating your home, you're um, painting, um, knocking walls down, making more light, come into the home, um, maybe reconstructing the home, remodeling, you're doing something new to your home, okay? Yeah, you're doing something new to your home right here. I feel like you chilling, you good, right? you just laying back chilling. I do feel like, though, you're taking a break. Okay? You need a vacation. You, you've been, you just renovated this home. You know, you did all of this. You didn't pay all of this money. You need a vacation. You need to take a break. I do feel like some of you are taking a break from this person. We won't get into it. I feel like you're making a final judgment. Okay? A final judgment call. For some of you, I feel like this person judged you too harshly or you judged them. Okay? Somebody may be wanting a second chance to revive things, bring bring things back from the dead. You know, bring things back to the way they used to be. But at the bottom of the deck, there's a five of wands here. I feel like for some of you, there's a lot of conflict that you're going through right now because there may be some competition you guys may be fussing and fighting or just arguing, bickering back and forth. They could, this could be a Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius that you're dealing with. Why is judgment here? What is this final judgment call? What is this final judgment? Whoops. What is this final judgment call? Spirit guides, angels, ancestors. Thank you. Did you see how that just bounced out? These cards are like... Bouncing out. This is someone you definitely are married to. Wow. This is someone um, you have family with. Children. You two live together in a home. It could be this home you're renovating right here. You're getting something ready right here. But I feel like um, this is someone you are married to. For some of you. This person lives with you. It's like a living together situation. Children involved. I feel like some of you have animals, pets, or birds, like parrots. Um, I do feel like your, your your money's looking good. Okay, I feel like you are loyal to this person. All right. Um, I do feel like this is something that will stand the test of time. Something that. Would last a long time. This is like long lasting, a long lasting relationship. But at the bottom of the deck, I do feel like someone here is juggling. Okay, this could be you, Taurus. Oh, I mean, um, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn, or fellow Virgo. But I feel like Virgo, this is um someone you're dealing with that's juggling, or this is you. Um, juggling, um, Two people, two places, two things, two ideas. Or well, there's just a lot going on in your life right now. You're trying to balance things out. You know, you're weighing up the pros and the cons between things in your life right here. I feel like for some of you, you're going, um, you and your family might be going to like a circus. Or some type of, like a place where they like have a circus act. I don't know, um, a carnival or something like that. I do feel like, though, um, this person could be juggling you and another person, or this is you. Um, this is new love for them. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. But I do feel like you're weighing up the pros and the cons, and you're trying to figure out if you want a new beginning in love with this person. All right? Because they want a second chance here. You guys have a family. You guys may um, be living together or married and I do feel like there's children involved, okay? They could be elders in the home. But I do feel like this person may be juggling because they have a new beginning in love right here. This person is in love with somebody. Or this is you not being sure. You're like indecisive if you want a brand new beginning in love with this person. I feel like there's a lot of passion between you two. Okay, I do feel like there's a lot of potential 
in your energy. I do feel like your creativity and and the things that you like to do, the things you're passionate about, there's a lot of growth, okay? There's a lot of growth and potential between you two. There's a lot of passion, a lot of sex, okay? Um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. Or this person is juggling you and another person. Uh-huh. They may be in love with someone else, a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. This person really drives out their sexual energy. They have a lot of um, sexual energy towards this person, a lot of passion towards this person. Maybe that's why you're feeling left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles being there. <sighs> Let's get three more cards before we close out. Spirit guys, what is this person's actions towards Virgo? What is this person's actions towards Virgo in love? What is this person's actions? To, what is this person's actions? Three. Thank you. I think this one fell out first. Okay. Okay, so um, for some of you right now, you're feeling like disgusted by the situation. Or um, someone rejected you. I do feel like you, you, uh, this person, you know, they're never satisfied. I feel like you gave them many chances, uh, many offers, and they rejected it. Um, or you rejected them. Um, I do feel like this is a missed opportunity between you two. It could be a missed opportunity, right? Someone's feeling stuck also. Like, they don't like the current... I feel like you don't like the current status of this situation that you're going through you don't like maybe the scenery maybe that's why you're renovating you don't like something you're feeling stuck um rejected and i feel like you're demanding truth and clarity from this person air energy uh libra aquarius gemini i do feel like you're demanding truth and clarity from this person you want clarity you want to know what's going on you're standing firm in your decisions. You're not. You're not. You're not backing down. You ice this person the fuck out if you have to, but you need some more clarity. You need truth from this person. This person could be younger than you. I do feel like this is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. I do feel like you're very curious about this person, what they're doing, and I do feel like um, you're very intuitive. Okay, you might be wanting to send this person messages of love, or they're sending this to you. Their actions towards you, though, could be to reject your offer here. And they're standing firm in this decision that they're making. Because there's somebody new that has come into their life, okay? Yeah, they're keeping this a secret from you. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. They're not telling you what's going on. Okay, and I feel like they're hiding their emotions. They don't want to express their emotions. I do feel like there's some fear here. Okay, and I feel like it's a lot of confusion with the Seven of Cups and the Moon. There's a lot of confusion here. Okay, and I feel like you're closing out cycles and beginning brand new cycles. Or this person is closing out a cycle with you. Okay, um, there is Leo energy, Taurus, um, Aquarius, and Leo. So I do feel like this person is closing out some cycles here and, and beginning brand new cycles. Okay, this could be, um, they could be traveling for some of you. But for some of you, I feel like you are beginning new cycles. You're closing out old ones. Okay, something is definitely over between you two. Okay, I feel like with the lovers being here, this is someone that you had a soulmate connection with. This is someone that, um... You had love and harmony with, but I do feel like this is someone you're in a relation you were in a relationship with or you are in a relationship with them. I do feel like this person has choices between two people here. But I do feel like spirit is trying to tell you to stay true to yourself. All right? Be real and be honest with yourself, okay? About the situation here. All right? Well, I've already went overboard. Um, we 29 minutes in. Let's get, I'm going to just get a little bit more for y'all, okay?
Let me get a little bit more. I'm going to use another deck to find out what this person wants to say to you. What does this person want to say to Virgo? Spirit guides, angels, ancestors. What does this person want to say to Virgo about the situation? Clarify the lovers. What does this person want to say to Virgo? This could be you, Virgo, saying this. Um, I love myself enough to walk away. So I feel like, yeah, a cycle is closing out. Somebody is, is walking away here. I didn't see the Eight of Cups, but this is you saying this or your person. Someone is saying, I need to focus on my healing. Okay, so I feel like someone is healing from heartbreak and pain or um, just because the cycle was closed out between you two. It's like, well, damn, you know, and I feel like someone is needing to focus on their healing. Someone is walking away and trying to focus on their healing. What else does this person have to say? This card wants to pop out. Oh my God. What, is, what else does this person want to say? Spirit guides, angels, ancestors. Oh, okay. I feel like this is you. Yes, it is too late. Okay. Um. Yeah, some of you is like the nine. It's like the um, seven of wands. You're guarded. You're standing your ground. You are... Um, Protecting yourself, you know, you are um, not bending, not considing, not seeing eye to eye, not compromising, nothing. Okay, it is too late. But I feel like you forgive this person for whatever they've done. You forgive them and you're willing to move on. Okay, because like with the King of Wands, there's an opportunity presenting itself to you. This person is has a lot of passion for you. But I do feel like you may have blocked this person. Or this person seems closed off and blocked off to you. This is someone you definitely have a twin flame connection with. I feel like you're guarded. Um, this person hurt you a lot of times. Or different people may have hurt you. And I feel like your guards is up. Your walls is up. Okay, and You're focusing on yourself. You're focusing on your money right here. You're working really, really hard, Virgo. Okay, keep up the good work. For some of you, you might start seeing 444 a lot. Okay, that's just letting you know that your spirit guides acknowledge the hard work you, that you're doing and they're supporting you and you will be rewarded. Okay, thank you so very much for coming to this reading. Um, I went a little bit longer than I expected to, but you know, you guys needed your messages and I'm happy to give them to you. Okay, if you like this reading as much as I did, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that all notification bell so you won't miss out on any other videos that I have to load up for y'all, okay? You will always be notified. Make sure you hit that all notification bell, okay? They bring a digga digga ding bell, okay? And for my subscribers, my gang, 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 thank you so much for coming back to the channel. I really do appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Okay. I'm so excited we reached our first 100 subscribers. Let's keep growing and flowing like everybody knowing. All right. And until next time, bye Virgos. I love y'all.